Yeah, uh, our next speaker is somewhere there. It's Alex Chopin, so you can come to the stage. Um, in the time that Alex is preparing his, his stuff, um, I want to say something totally um, to the to the Evan stuff. Uh, yeah, we 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 have changed a bit the agenda a bit because of this uh, problem with the connection. Um, yeah, the initial delay. So I'm not sure which uh, what time is now. What time is? Okay, it's 20 past 10. So I think after. Okay, so we will have a, a 40 minutes talk with Alex Chopin, and then we will have a break for this uh, breakfast or brunch. Some people is really hungry over there. 40 minutes. Um, in case you go outside, um, I forgot to to say, if you have to go to the loo, to the please go to the one at the end of the corridor here on the on the left when. You Outside the room, go to once in the hall, please. So use them, use this. Sorry, I forgot some some details. So whenever Alex is ready, which I think he is, uh, yeah, your microphone is here, Alex. Yes, like that. Please put this a bit lower. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, so yeah, our first talk was about Next. Now we have a co-creator of Next on a stage. We will have more Next step. Maybe time to rename this event to Next Day, something like that. So, yeah, you are doing something really well, guys. <laughs> so, uh, really? No. Nope. No. Nope? <laughs> well, almost really. Yeah. You can use this microphone if you want. Okay. Say something, Alex. Say Good. something. Yeah. <laughs> so, ladies, Alexander Chopin. Thank you. Uh, welcome to the next day. Uh, view day, sorry. Uh. So today I'm gonna talk about Next.js 2019. So it's gon not gonna be a tech talk. So, um, about me, Alexander Chopin, uh, co-creator of Next. I am Next, my new username on Twitter. Um, the other creator, co-creator is my brother. You're going to talk right after me. So, the story behind Next. <coughs> so, until now, no talk about it. So, you're going to be the first one to know the secret. Uh, it starts with a common passion between my brother and I in uh, deep down the Pyrenees. Okay, it's gonna <laughs> fuck up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Twelve years ago, um, our parents bought a computer, and then we start to learn by our ourselves how to code. Uh, we want to create a website for our basketball club at this time. So, yeah, it was just for fun. And with the time, we built these complementary skills. I was the guy who was more interested by the front end part and my brother by the back end part. So, yeah, we choose our side. <coughs> but back to Next.js project. So after 12 years working together for small projects and funny stuff, uh, we had a project about refactoring uh, e-commerce websites. This project was based on Node.js and jQuery. Um, but we would like to have the benefit uh, of a single page app plus server-side rendering because this website was already in production. So we couldn't break up the S CEO, SEO, sorry, search engine optimization and the login time, etc. So 
luckily, at this moment, Vue.js 2 was launched with this package called Vue Server Renderers, but no documentation. And only the Vue Icon News 2 example was on GitHub at this time. So, uh, oh, so I think it's just this area to talk. If I move. Okay, uh, so at this time we have to go deep down the example code and it was pretty hard, but yeah, we tried, we tried and we, we did it. So our e-commerce website was now based on Node.js and Vue.js 2.0. But there was still no convention with you, you know, it's you are the completely freedom of how you structure your project, where are you putting your components, your views, your plugins, etc., etc. So it was a project with no convention. A lot of configuration was needed with Webpack, Babel, all the stuff to use the .view files. And also you need to know how Node.js works to maintain this project. In October 2016, Next.js was launched. So it's basically a React app server render generator. So we really love the, uh, this idea about the simplicity of building a project for server-side rendering. It was this idea of page directory who creates your router, but only with a static root in these features. Uh, we love also the idea of no configuration. You just simply download the project and you already got a production ready app. So that's how we decide to say, okay, if we need to build over a project like the e-commerce website, if we need to manage uh, and create other stuff, we should create our generator for Vue.js app. So we did in November, we create this generator of Vue.js app plus some functionality. So the page directory, we yeah, had functionality to match with the routers system. So dynamic and nested routes with the child. Um, no configuration needed, so you get the webpack installed by default, so you can be focused on writing .view files with the view loader. Um, production ready, of course, with a node server beyond the hook, beyond the hood, sorry. Um, and we put some convention with the directory structure. Um, assets, components, plugins, store layout, all what you know now was created with the experience of all this project built with you. So mainly it was just classic name and it's very easy to understand when you download the next project. It's components, assets, you store, you know what it means when you, you know how view works. And we add this custom functionality from the beginning. Async data, really helpful to fetch data from the server side and display it before render your HTML, the fetch also, and the next error in it, etc. So when this project was done, so it was called the generator of Vue.js app SSL, was like, oh, maybe, yeah, it's too long, we need to find a name. And yeah, we could put it also on open source, on GitHub, because yeah, we are not the only one to have to read the icon news example to discover all building Vue.js app server render. So it was really difficult to find a name. We switch the E by U, so Next.js was born, a generator of Vue.js app SSR. <coughs> December 2016, um, we had to complete this project because uh, it starts to be kind of famous uh, in a couple of days only uh, on the view community. I think it was due to the lack of documentation on server side rendering at the beginning. So we have to put a documentation website. We have to create a Twitter account also to communicate about our new releases. And we start to discover about issue, pull request, and GitHub stars. And we also validate some pre-requests about funct new functionality like the validate, the middleware, and static site generation. So this project was at the beginning only for us. 
it was created by two guys, not at the same place, because I was living in Norway and my brother was living in Spain. So it's a half French, half Spanish, half <laughs> Norwegian project. It's a worldwide project and it was just for fun, just for us because we need it at this time and we just decided to trust the open source community. So we get invited to the VGS meetup in Paris a couple of days after and we have met Evan New first time. He discovered and, uh, that our website is static generated. So he was amazed about the idea tweet it on his account and then we have another conf get invited the .js conf and we have met Guillermo Rock, creator of Next.js love also the ID so that was the beginning in only three months and then it was 2017 So we start to discover because you know when you are a simple developer and working in a company, you don't really matter about what the open source community numbers means. So when you see a thousand of stars, you're like, yeah, do you know how big is a thousand of people in front of you? Never. You are not a rock star, you're just a developer. You pretty much see your screen all day long. So a thousand of people, I don't know. Same for NPM download don't realize what this number means because you can try and just never use it. So it's still a download. So yeah, thousand dollars, yeah, cool, that's fine. But it's not me. <laughs> issues. When we started to get our first issues, we were so happy, really. We were like, wow, other people take care about what we do, our work, and they're using it and want to ask questions and want to improve it and yeah, we get a lot of feedback about our project and it was really nice, really, really nice. <coughs> Same for the pull request. And at this time during 2017, we start to see the project with another point of view. When you start and you think it's just for us, you just don't see, yeah, what's the point of comment your code, uh, testing, see other stuff, uh, and adding functionality. You just use it for your own use case. But then start to come pull requests and, and other use cases. And you have to decide which one fits the well with your vision. And you need to start building a proper vision of the project. What should the project do? What she should and not do, and et cetera, et cetera. And it starts to change. It wasn't not only a code base for us. It started to be a real external project. And we discovered also the contributors. And a lot of people got ideas this time because it was pretty brand new. View GS server side rendering. All, all the app server rendered was pretty new in 2017 with React, with Vue. And so, so much hype. So, so many people came and proposed crazy idea and we need to spend time and decide which one is a good one, which one can fit and also taking time to reply to each, each of us. <coughs> so that's how our team was born. Our two core team members, Puya Pasa, crazy man, crazy man from Iran. He bring us the module system, you know, today and he just a machine. Uh, we don't know with my brother how we could manage to continue this project at the same time as we got a job without this guy. He just incredible. And also Clark. Clark brings us so many experience, so many knowledge about testing and refactoring code. And yeah. Uh, as I told you, we were still working in companies during this time. It was just a side project for us as a freelancer. And yeah, we didn't expect so much um, actu activities. But during 2017, um, it was 
pretty much a stabilization about the code base. So we move from v0.9.5 to v.1, v1.0. So not so much releases because we got a lot of release candidates before the v1. A lot we want to be sure to get a proper base, a really good strong base for everyone who wants to start a project and put it in production. And we got some features I put on the screen. A uh, single page application mode was created during this time. The module system and internal hooks, like as I told you, to expand your next project. So in the future, you can imagine to have a next project inside another next project just by a module. It's come from Puya and it was made with this ID in 2017. Uh, you can also access easily to the next context through your app. Um, we start to develop this developer experience style, like be focused on what the developer feel when you want to develop, like reduce the fatigue, reduce the repeated tasks. If you can automatic automate some tasks like we did for the page and the store, auto include things, we try to do it as much as we can. And new features like the no SSR components for some pages, uh, process variable to see which you, if we are on the client or the server part. Config option gets bigger and bigger. You can check on the IP, uh, API uh, documentation part, et cetera, et cetera. And we have also discovered this part about if you get strong dependency, we need to release every time there is another release. So it was this time where Webpack 4 was launched. Big improvement for them and view 2.5 also. So it took us a lot of work, but we did it, and we are really proud of, of us all for that and all the contributors who are helping us. <coughs> we also got the chance to meet people in life, in real life, so um, we start to, with few conferences, uh, we were invited, the ViewConf, the first ViewConf in Euro Europe, in Poland, and so some uh, meetups also. So it was really nice to discover people uh, in real life because <laughs> I always remember the first time someone was asking me something and he introduced himself with his name and first name. I was like, yeah, who are you? And then he sent me his username. I was like, oh, that's you. Yeah, <laughs> nice to see you. I was like, fuck. Cannot recognize if you don't see the username. See if you don't say the username, it's really hard. But it was very funny because yeah, see people just with an avatar, and in real life, it's completely different, and it's so much nice. I didn't put the picture with when we are drinking some beers because I need to be professional, you know. Now. <laughs> but still, uh, really happy to share some drinks with people and about feedbacks and experience, and it was really really good. And we got this catch line conclusion uh, in 2017. Are you next? Because people was like saying, oh man, you are completely crazy. This was maybe before after some drinks, but um, yeah, what we try to do, it's really caring about developers, not about money, company, things like that. We do it just for fun, for ourselves, for enjoying our work, our jobs, and that's our mindset. That's how it was born. So we are you next for are you nuts? Crazy. Because, yeah, we try to do the impossible every day. So that was a catch line. And then we got 2018. <laughs> because 2017 was still manageable with a, with a job. Because it was still growing up slowly. But still, yeah, you can manage after your jobs, during the lunch. But 2018 gets fast and bigger, and we get fucking grow, grow up project. <coughs> so the GitHub starts. We s start with 1,000 in 2017 to reach 15,000 in 2018. So, yeah. Imagine the same for the download, but still don't realize. It's a big number, but yeah. But 
you start to realize we have the issues. You start to say, okay, okay. Uh, I need to sleep, maybe. But yeah, it was fun. Um, <laughs> now the pull request. Every pull request was taking so much attention because a lot of companies are using it in production. And the funniest part was, yeah, please merge this pull request uh, because we need to put this project in production. Yeah, sure, but do you know, I don't work working for you. It's an open source project. And yeah, but uh, it's a shame. Uh, no, no, stop. So uh, it was a lot of pressure to manage because it was the first time for us, but we did it. And we continue to work harder to put some process for that. So we learn a lot and with all this crazy number comes, we have to create processes. And that was so, so, so nice to get this community helping us. I think we got almost 91% of nice message and uh, very helpful and very supporting us every day. Really nice feedback and thank you. Like I told you, events are here for meeting people, so I'm in front of you and I just want to say thank you. And yeah, we got a worldwide team now, big worldwide team. We got four more core team members from everywhere now. We are pretty much cover all the world. Uh, we get game from China, Brazil, Iran, Germany, all, all around the world. So that's completely crazy to imagine when you start a project for yourself. To finish two years after with a team like that, just awesome. <coughs> so 2018 was more enhancement for the project. So you can see we moved from the V1.0 to the V1.2.4. Uh, so yeah, that's mainly due to the team we build <laughs> because yeah. Uh, we decide also to quit our job with my brother in the middle of this year. So we are not full time on the project. I mean full time when we don't do some work to pay our bills, but we are freelance full time on the project the rest of the time. So we don't have constraints, let's say. And we can could develop some nice enhancement like the TypeScript support, smart prefetching, autocomplete for VS Code, plugins, client server injection, auto detection. You can see everything on our releases. But yeah, we want to be focused on the DX improvement, developer experience. <coughs> so I'm gonna, yeah, events. We did. We detect the impact. We realize right now what it means. So our mindset, we want to share with the team. Uh, I choose a lazy person to do our job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. That's uh, some guy named Bill Gates. Another mindset, we really love it. Frameworks are not tools for organizing your code. They are tools for organizing your mind. For so, for 2018, after how you next in 2017, we got our conclusion: be lazy, be smart, be next. So today, 2019. We have reached 20k stars. Thank you. We get plenty of features. I plan to announce it, but my brother is just talking right after, so he told me to not explain about it. So I put his face on this slide. <laughs> <laughs> we get our next year's office. Really nice. Woo! Thank you, finally. <laughs>
And yeah, if you want to support us, we get also the Open Collective uh, as on slash next.js. But I think everyone have downloaded the project. I've seen this ASCII art with the mountains and other stuff. So you pretty know how to contribute. Everyone is asking me how can I have your nice sweatshirt and t-shirt. Thank you. But like we do with Next on every part of our work, we want to do high quality things. So it was just prototyping and it's coming soon. It's coming soon because uh, we want to have really nice t-shirts, t-shirt products and don't want you to have like a t-shirt you put on your washing machine and uh, after three times it's completely fucked up. So yeah, it's coming soon. So I did it pretty fast, but there is a lot of things coming with the next talk. So I, the best I can do is do a question and answer. So thank you. Here, Alex. Uh, I don't know if uh, someone has any question for Alex. No, please, Hans. No. Okay. So thank you. Alex. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs>